Hello and welcome to Novo Creative Tutorials. Today I will show you how to create 3D displacement modulation effects in Adobe After Effects without using any third party plugins. So create your composition and let's get started. So after a career composition, and as you see here, in my comp, I have this map comp here. And inside here, I have a background with a fill and a placeholder. So basically here, just for the element you're going to use, you can put any graphic you want to use. So for example here, I have this grayscale of this word map. So we can have just solid uh, color on that element. So let's go back to this comp here. So the idea now is just to create a map so we can generate some kind of information for the displacement. So let's create a new solid here and let's rename these fractal fill. And then I'm going to apply fractal noise here. So let's just switch these to turbulent smooth and spline and 250 on contrast and minus 50 on brightness. And let's just have some of transform on these just to make it something like these. And I'm going to switch to soft clamp here. Just subtle brightness a little bit. So and now what I'm going to do here basically, I'm just going to create some nice evolution animation to these. I'm going to use expression. So using time and multiply that by 36 just so we can make these looping. And then I'm going to multiply that by these evolution cycle. So just pick with that and pick with these two cycle here and just enable cycle evolution. So now basically start at zero and at 10 seconds it's around 360. So if we multiply these by two, it's just going to be more faster. So let's see how this looks like. So as you can see, this is very straightforward and you can see it's really looping nicely here. So you can do other adjustments and it's always going to be looping there. For example, we can crank up some of these complexity here. And so the whole idea now is just we want to switch point mode here to color dodge. And now it's just applied on top of that graphic here just to create some really nice variations there. So what I'm going to do now basically just duplicating these and let's rename these edges and then put it right before or below everything there. So now just going to set these to 1000 on contrast and brightness to zero. So probably complexity just three. So we have the same evolution. We can just probably put that to one just to have variation. But basically you can't see much there. Let's switch these overflow to allow HDR. And basically you still can't see much here. And first I want to actually create track map with these background here. And then basically just turn on the graphic as well. So now you can see we've got some really nice uh, edge there, but it's not showing that much. So on the graphic placeholder, I'm going to apply fast box blur there and then set that blur radius to three. And now you can see that. Very cool, we have two variation on there. So basically, if you don't want that edges, you can keep it. If you don't want it, you can uh, leave it that. So you get the idea. So on this graphic placeholder, I'm going to apply fill and set that to gray, so 25. And basically you can actually darken that if you want. And this grayscale variation is what going to affect the displacement. So you get the idea here, anything is darker is going to be zero and brighter is going to be toward one. So just to get the idea there. So I'm going to keep that 25 for now and later on we can change that. So let's go back here to the main comp here. So now we have these right here. We can do any adjustments later on. So and now I'm going to apply adjustment layer and let's rename these 3D 
displays. And then I'm going to apply CC ball action. So first make sure you are on the latest After Effects update because on the CC ball action it add this new feature displays and that's what we need basically. So as you add that you get just the same old look to the previous uh, CC ball action. So make sure you update first so you can see we got these new uh, feature here. So let's zero out creating space and then we can have some displacement here and you can see we are getting some pretty cool displacement so first let's create a new camera here and now you can see we got these pretty cool displacement here that's pretty cool so I'm going to create orbit for this camera here and let's rotate these x45 well you can see what's going on here so we have few settings here um, we have the shading and that's going to shade these ball actions so I'm going to see that to minus 100 and I don't want to go extreme on that so for now just 10 and that's look pretty nice we can see our edges right there and also the variation of the fractal noise we applied already there so what I'm going to do here basically is just to make these look pretty interesting so first here we have this placement property so I'm just going to leave that brightness and basically we got different channels and so because I use basically grayscale so I'm just going to leave that brightness and we got twist and you get the idea so the twist basically is also depends on the axis or the property so for example we got random you can get some really cool and nice look with that to randomize and reveal that stuff there so but I'm going to keep it very simple here so I'm going to add Venetian blinds here and then set these to 50 on completion and then 10 on the width and I want that to be minus 90 but then I want to apply this before CC ball action so and now we are getting some pretty nice and very cool look here you can see we got these animations there so let's just make these 100% so we can see it pretty nicely there so let's preview and see how this looks like so as you can see these animations look pretty cool very nice seamless looping animation with these kind of 3d displacement modulation you can see the venetian blinds at these lines which we can actually adjust their width to just look pretty different here so you can do now all the adjustments you need for example going back to the map uh, probably here just uh, invert these so the map is going to be inverted here and you can see what's happening here uh, probably turn off the edge you're going to get different look here and so on probably just leave the edge and turn off uh, the fill so we get the idea here probably just on here let's blur these a little bit more and let's see how this now it's going to look much smoother so we can do a lot of things with these which is pretty cool and so what I'm going to do now just to make it look a little bit uh, much better than these is actually just building some stylized to these to look so much better here so let's just do that so I'm going to add a new adjustment layer and let's rename these glow and I'm going to apply glow here and let's go for the three shot 35 and two on the radius and intensity and that's look pretty cool now you can see some nice highlights there and I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and this is going to be the color and I'm going to apply colorama here I'm going to switch here to these fire here and modify antique modify alpha and also composite over layer we've got some really cool nice variation of these basically you can use any of other um presets here and you get the idea what you can do here that's pretty cool so i'm going to keep these as it is here and so what i'm going to do here just duplicate this glow put it on top here and let's crank up these areas 500 and probably here just keep it subtle just so we can get some really nice result 25 probably and probably just one on the intensity here probably 1.5 that's look pretty nice 
So here on these uh, 3D displacement, I can add camera lens blur and basically just see these to 0.5 just to smooth these a little bit here. And for example, here on coloring is sometimes going to affect how these look. So uh, choosing crisp is just going to make these look a little bit different. Sometimes not appearing just depends on how you use Venetian blind. So for example, we can put these to four or probably nothing is there. So if we use crisp, it's just going to appear there. So you can see here now just like uh, slicing that map, also using the transition completion there. So you can see how this looks. Just pretty cool playing with these and even animating that will get you a really cool animations there. But I'm going to keep these look as it is here and probably keep these to medium here. And also shading is just going to affect the highlights because that shading is how the seeable action is shaded there, which is pretty cool. You can keep that at zero, which is pretty nice. And also you can use the shutter. And that's if you want to add some pretty cool animation right there. We can invert here displacement and that's going to look a little bit different. Depends on some maps. You need to be careful on that. So everything is depends on how you use the maps, which is very important. So for example, here now, what I'm going to do to make these look a little bit nicer, just scale these map to 100 here, and that's going to just zoom these in, and we can see more details. And because this is has the camera here, I can basically zoom these out a little bit here, just like that. And you can see here we got some these lines here. What we can do here, just apply a new adjustment layer and this is going to be the look. I'm going to add transform here and just scale these by five pixels, just getting rid of that. And also what I'm going to do here, just apply lumetric color, just so we can get some really nice uh, look on these. So I'll go, I'm going for the matrix blue and that's going to make these look very interesting here. And then add sharpen, just going for two and add noise as well. Going for five, just to stylize these to look pretty cool. And we can also add camera animation to this. So let's just keyframe the X rotation. So from zero to 45 and let's easy ease these keyframes and then preview this. So as you can see guys, this looks pretty cool by adding the camera animation and also stylizing this, make it look very cool. So now you can do all that kind of adjustment you need, for example, change uh, the graphic elements or change how you want this fractal to affect the elements here. So for example, now if you just go back to the map here and let's just solo the fractal fill and it's just going to reflect here and it's just going to make it look like a very cool interesting background here which is really nice so now let's go back here and let's just basically drop a different element here let's just drop a fill so we can see it and i'm just going to update on our map here and then just going to reflect here you can now change here how you want these colors to look so probably going for ramp green here and that's going to update here and then probably you can add more of glow to make these look pretty cool or just change here these highlights to make it look pretty nice so i'm going to show you some tips and tricks here you can see this one like uh, the background and also here we got these title here so the whole idea is the same here so the first thing here you need to pay attention is um, the map everything is about the map and for example here I have this animated text layer here and that is our graphic everything else is pretty much the same just to make things more procedural and easier you can just use essential graphics to add to it the most important things you want to control very easily like in this one so first let's turn off these pre-rendered version here and so here for example 
example, we're inheriting the colors of our text and if we turn these off now we're going to end up with a little bit different look so if we just add more exposure to the graphic elements now you can see more of that depth on these and basically the exposure is applied on the graphic elements so we just add in more exposure so we can have that uh, depth on these basically adding more 3D displacement to these it's just going to be slow or really uh, small if the exposure is set to zero because kind of it's not going to be that bright and so we just need to be careful when we want to add displacement because it's going to affect the whole thing here so let's set that probably to five and that's it so we also have here 3d edge softness that's going to soften the text which is we already added fast box blur to this so just blurring the text there and you need to keep things subtle so it's really looking nicer there so it depends on how you want things to look like we can also add distortion effects just to add some distortions to these and basically here we just added a wave warp here and you can add multiple just in different to affect differently here so you can see how now it's just going to add more of these distortion to like fake modulation to that just organizing things will make it so much easier to make it more procedural you can also go extreme to these and so on so hopefully you get the idea how you can do that also inverting the maps will get you a different results here so you just need to be careful how you want to use and affect the map so also we can use these on not just the text or a graphic we can also use that on videos as well so any footage is going to reflect inside here so basically the same idea here right inside in, instead of using any graphical element we can use a video and then everything is the same setup here um, adding that so basically here we are inheriting these colors if we turn off these you can see the map is just going to be this grayscale here and that's pretty cool because it's now going to affect how these going to look and basically we are having um, these coloramas so probably just zero out this blending here and we are going to get some pretty cool black and white look here and animation you have in your map is just going to reflect inside 3d displacement moderation effects so hopefully this tutorial was very useful for you as always and if you have any questions just comment and I will do my best to be responsive and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon and thank you for watching